Thanks for tuning in! Oh wait, that was the last part. This is part 10. Anyways, welcome to part 10 of Silent Hill 2. We just opened the refrigerator and got the ring. And now we have Maria, and now we're gonna walk down a hallway. Let's do some shit! Yeah, sorry for my, uh, exuberant intro. Why not? Okay. Floor number three? Floor number three. Hopefully in this one I can get out of the hospital. Because I know we're at the end. I know we're pretty much done with all this stuff, so... This should be the one that we get out of the hospital. And then I'll be so, so happy because we can move on to a new area. And then get all kinds of lost in that one. Because that's the fun part. Ah, oh, it's a box. Oh yeah, this is the, the, the trick-or-treat box with all the questions and answers and shit. Oh man. I do not even remember the questions. I could answer them if I knew them. Uh, okay. Silent Hill Amusement Park. What the fuck? Ah, oh, come on! Really? Oh! If I get the combination wrong, it... Jesus! I get the combo wrong and it's like, we're gonna screw you to an inch of your death. I wonder if I have the questions in my memo, no? Really? Damn it. There's a slight brief gap of time from when I did part nine to now. So I don't necessarily know. Damn it! All right. Well, continuing on, I don't need the goodness. I have more than enough items to complete this game right now. So, yeah. I'm not gonna screw up and continually kill myself over and over again. Instead of wasting time, let's just progress with the game. And this is that lovely painted lady door. And now we have the rings. Which are the keys to this door? How do we use them, you ask? You put them on her fingers! Cause it's a 3D painting, they stick out, eh? Makes sense. Yeah. I put the copper ring on the hand of the lady. I put the lead ring on the hand of the lady. And doing so unlocks the door. Like demonstrated there. And now we can go in that door. Yay! And that's a dead end. Something? There's a note on the ground. I took the director's key. The one to the museum. I hid it behind a praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up. I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. <laughs> I feel much better about my own English, considering that English was... Whoa. I've mentioned my English screw-ups, like, twice so far. Reading that note just restored my faith in myself. Yeah. You gotta love those high intensity moments that just, you know, make you feel good about yourself. And I feel good dead to the fact that I speak English, considering it's the only language that I speak. The fuck was. Maria? Okay, there was nothing there that time. I remember something fucking happens here, but what the hell? Oh shit! No, 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 homeboy! Uh-uh, no, 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 no. Run, run, Maria, run! Vamanos, Maria, go! 
Follow me! Open up! feel bad for James right here. On a side note, that music really is beautiful. And coming from me, that's a compliment. I mean, hey. This is probably one of my all-time favorite parts in this whole game, just because you're running around the end of the hospital with that music playing. I, I love it. can only be learned by marching forward. That is true. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. And we need to go there because there's a letter and a wrench there. Which will do something in Rosewater Park and allow us to go to the Historical Society. I copied them onto my map. And I got the hospital lobby. We can leave! <laughs> I'm gonna hunt that kid down. What? Anyways, yeah. Just like what it said on the paper. Keep moving forward, people. Keep moving forward. Oh! Yes, overwrite my data. Thank you. I use the hospital lobby key. And that is the end of Brookhaven Hospital. Maria's dead. I couldn't protect her. Oh, yeah! Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Laura has run off somewhere. Mary, what, what should I do? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? Or is this your way of taking? I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left hope for. It's so sad. Okay, so we need to go over that way to get the thing, to get to there, to get the thing that lets us get into there. Right? Yeah. I'm just happy to be at a Brookhaven hospital. It felt like I was there for an eternity. Oops, sorry. It felt like we were there for the five people who actually watched this. <laughs> Done. 
Yeah, so we're out of Brookhaven Hospital. And if you didn't know by now, Maria's dead. Oh no! She was such a pivotal character to the story. Got some goodies. Goody, goody, goodies. Oh, more goodies! Yay! And I can hear something walk around out there. God damn. Not yet. Screw you, dude. Nope. I'm not gonna spend an eternity killing every enemy all the way from here to the historical society, cause, uh-uh. That is just gonna take forever, cause there's so many people. And I don't know about you, but I would like to progress. out of the hospital though like when you spend so much time in like one of these like tight confined areas you know like the apartment building and then the hospital and then after all that time you finally get out in the streets and it's like freedom it's so nice and it makes you feel so good so good inside you know like that warm and fuzzy feeling you get when you look at a kitten or a puppy I don't know You get warm and fuzzy feelings for all kinds of different things. I just use the kitten puppy example as that. An example. I get all warm and fuzzy when I play video games and when I watch cartoons, especially anime. You know, I really enjoy, like, I love anime, but I also enjoy a lot of American-made cartoons, you know? That's good stuff. But yeah, that's basically my life. Video games and cartoons. <laughs> yeah. I ain't complaining. I like it. So... This is a very, uh, creepy tunnel. What the fuck is that? Oh, I really, really, really don't like this. Now it's unlocked, yay. But yeah, I really, really don't like it because I've got my headphones on. It is like the middle of the night. I don't even know what time it is because I never pay attention to time. But yeah, it's really dark and it's really creepy. And I'm all by myself and my headphones are really loud. And really, this completes the atmosphere of the game. <laughs> but honestly, how else are you supposed to play it? Come on. First aid kit. Oh, hey, a trailer. And this is the trailer that you go in to get the hyper spray. There's also a save point in here. The save point, who cares about the save point? What is really cool is the hyper spray. The hyper spray destroys everything. And here's a memo. I'll wait at Barneely's. Thank you for informing me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've done that the past last uh, three save points. So I had to do it again. I'm on a saving frenzy, uh, eh, frenzy? I'm on a saving frenzy, cause like, four or five parts back, I made a, oopsie, I made a big mistake, and I kinda screwed things up, and I had to like, redo like, a lot of crap, and that's not fun. Anyways, continuing on, ugh. God, I hate that. It's so damn dark. And the flashlight only illuminates like what's directly in front of you. And when you're running through the streets full force, you know, yeah! And you just come up on a damn mannequin dude, not even moving. Oh, I hate that. I hate 
hate it, I hate it, I hate it. That scares the shit out of me almost more than Maria and her jump scares. I mean, I wouldn't even call it a jump scare because you're sort of expecting it because that's just what Maria does. You know, loading screen. Ah! Oh, here we are at Barnelius. You don't really have to stop here. I just do for... There was a hole here before. It's gone now. And then there's part two of the message. If you really want to see Mary, you should just die. But you might be heading to a different place than Mary. James. That's a really mean wall. That wall basically just told me, go to hell. Very sophisticated like. And I read it with a really weird accent. I don't know why. But that wall just told me to go to hell. Not cool. Uh-uh. And I'm just going to avoid a lot of these people because I would like to get to where I gotta go. I mean, who wants to watch a 20 minute video of me running through the street killing every single enemy? Because if I stopped and killed every single enemy, that's probably what the entire video would be, running through the street killing everything. That's no fun! Well, I... It's my opinion, you know. Alright, we got the wrench, and now we got a letter here. Perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. A part of that abyss is in the old... The key to... As in the park. At the foot of the praying woman inside of the ground. Inside of a box. My patient buried it there. I knew but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. Blah, 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 blah. I think that's telling me, it's pretty much telling me what I already know with a creepy Silent Hill twist. You know? It's telling you, but not really telling you directly, like, read me, but understand. But, uh, yeah. We got the letter and the wrench. And I actually think I'm gonna cut it here, because we're about at the 20 minute line. So. Until next time, in part 11.